guys, and welcome back to the grand finale of Dangerous Relationship. I hope you guys are ready to wrap this one up, so let's get started with No One Needs to Know. With the concert all said and done, I ran to Subaru's arms and we shared a kiss. Our lips slowly parted. I could just kiss you here forever, but this might not be the best place right now. He glanced out the window, where muffled voices came through the pane. Has he not left yet? He might have gone through the side exit. Get over there and check! It was the media on a frantic search for Subaru. Let's go, we need to find a better place to share the moment. He took my hand and walked through the door, popping it open and sneaking away. We somehow made it outside without being seen. Passing through an underground parking garage, we came out through a hidden exit. I never even knew there was a way out this way. No one really uses it anymore, so very few people know about it. Is this how you escaped the last time? After his announcement to stop singing, everyone was on the lookout for him. He must have escaped through here, considering no one saw him leave. Remember running away from everyone back then? Those were the days. Just like that time, we held hands, darting through shadowed alleys to avoid being seen. I kept thinking to myself that it must have been fate running into you like that. You might be right. At one point, Subaru stopped suddenly and looked back at me. Here. I looked at him confused. Before I could ask what he meant, Subaru grabbed my face and kissed me. Ah. This is just like last time. Subaru started with a peppy smile. If we stand here fooling around, someone might see us. Shoot, you're right. There they are! A voice shrieked out from a deep corner of the alleyway. Fortunately, the crosswalk light had turned red so they couldn't cross over right away. They're on to us. Come on, let's go. Okay. Together we ran, hand in hand, closely pursued by the rabid media. By some miracle, we evaded the media enough to slip back into the place without further trouble. Phew. Having sprinted practically all the way home, we were both panting for breath. Looks like we got away. Yeah. We did well. Subaru walked over to me and picked me up off of the ground, letting my feet dangle in the air. Kya! He scooped my legs up with his arms and carried me like a princess. Aww. All that running probably made you tired. But I can still walk on my own. Oh well, I want to do this. It's nice feeling your weight in my arms. He carried me into bed and gently laid me down on the blankets. Just relax. I'll make you feel better. Huh? Subaru slipped his hand. Okay, I will let you guys read this part. Just a massage. He climbed on the bed and took up my feet, gently massaging my arc and heel. Then, without warning, he crunched the soles of my feet. Ow! My legs twitched and pulled back in reflex, but Subaru pulled them back in place. That hurt? It did a little, but it still feels good. Then how about this? He drew his lips closer to my feet and kissed my toes. That's not a massage. He held up my feet in his hands and stroked across them with his long fingers. Do you like it when I touch you like this? I... How about here? Or here? Mm. Looks like I found a sweet spot. Hey! Once I moaned, it wouldn't be long for Subaru to take it to the next level. He began stroking my legs, feeling them up and down. Your skin's so smooth. It feels so nice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is supposed to make you feel good, not me. And I'll let you guys read Subaru Take Me to the Next Level.
okay, seems like things are safe. I wondered if I should feel happy or sad about what he just said. In here, I thought you were a really nice person when I first met you. I teased back at him, and he stroked his fingers through my hair. My first encounter with Subaru was with Taiga, and he cornered me in the dressing room. He had shown up out of nowhere and rescued me. Me? Nice? His hands slowed and stopped. Would you hate me if I wasn't so nice? Heck no, I still love you. Thanks. I much prefer the you now over the guy I met in the dressing room. Hearing that makes me happy. The guy you met then wasn't as nice as you make him out to be. Why not? I know I came in and saw you cornered and chased Tiger away and all of that, but I'm not so sure what came over me to do that. I don't usually try to be a hero like that. Don't say that. No, but it's true. I know it myself best. I'm always afraid of what people might think about me, so I try to be nice to everyone. He squeezed his arms around me with an anguished expression. The Rio everyone knows might seem like a cool guy, but that's only half the story. What do you mean by that? My true feelings came out in my songs, but they don't show what's behind the scenes. There's more to me than what's in my lyrics, like how jealous and greedy I am. I want to keep you for myself and might get upset when you're even talking to another guy. He hugged me close and sucked hard on my neck. Subaru! I tried to squirm away, but that only made him suck harder. It felt like he was branding me or something. By the time he finished, my neck was tingling with pain. <sighs> it's all red now. That's gonna leave a mark. That's embarrassing for you, right? Yeah. Well, that's the real me. Jealous and territorial. I can't let anyone see the sight of me, so I have to bring it out in music. By singing in my songs, I finally get to let it out, and I sing with passion. The more I sing the truth, the more powerful I feel on stage, and the more my fans love it. That's what made me get so absorbed in the music, but in my private life, I can only talk about my real feelings to people I trust. Is this the real you? I pointed to the kiss mark he had smeared on my neck. That's right. I wanted to put it somewhere it would stand out more. I want to kiss you and stroke you, play you with a guitar. I'm not an instrument, but that's what you're like to me. My guitar, my partner, they always hold close. So I'm your partner? My partner for life. I met you, fell in love, and you changed the sound of music forever. My songs are different. Instead of just me, I feel like singing about other things now. Like? Like you, Kayla. Subaru brushed his fingers across my lips and brought his own closer for a deep kiss. I want to love you like I sing, wild and from my heart. His kiss was so intense that it pulled the breath right out of my lungs. Subaru? Say my name and say that you want me. He clawed at my hair, scattering it every which way as we kissed. Subaru? Every time I spoke his name, he drove his lips onto me. I love you, Kayla. You're all that I need. He whispered sweet words into my ear between passionate kisses. Both the wild and gentle Subaru came out, caressing my lips and tormenting my body. In either case, I felt his love from deep inside my heart. The next day, morning already? My eyes snapped open in the wonderful aroma of roasting coffee. Good morning, your breakfast is ready. He sat down on the bed next to me and stroked my cheek. What? You made it for me? Yep, I borrowed your kitchen. Come now, princess, your feast awaits. Subaru made a show of taking my hand and helping me stand. He led me all the way to the table by my hand, as if I were royalty. Wow, it looks so good! On the plate sat slices of bread, toasted to perfection, under bacon and eggs. A small salad and soup accompanied the meal. It's like I woke up inside a restaurant. I don't typically cook anymore, but I know enough to be dangerous with a spatula. Before I was popular, I had to scrape up money working at the cafe with the owner. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it took me a while to make anything edible. I've got some coffee too, so let's eat while the food's warm. Alright. He pulled out the chair for me and I sat down at the table. Mmm, this is so good. You learned this from the owner? Not exactly. It's one of my original recipes, so don't give him any credit for it. I feel bad having you make all this. Maybe next time I'll cook something for you. Really? I can't wait. Subaru bounced up and down like an excited child. By the way, do you have work today? No, I took today off because of the concert. You're the best. Here, your reward, say ah. He poked a sausage and brought it close to my mouth. Ah, uh, the meat was perfectly seasoned and juicy as can be. My turn. Um, okay, say ah. Scooping up a pile of scrambled eggs, I carried the spoon to his mouth. Ah, uh, oh, that was tasty. Putting his hand on his cheeks, he beamed a smile at me. Just then his phone started to ring. It's my manager. The call came from the next morning after the concert. Yeah? No? Okay. Really? Right now? Wearing a concerned face, he spoke to his manager on the phone. At her house. Yeah, I will. When he ended the call, Subaru turned to me with a sigh. What was all of that about? The media is apparently surrounding my place. My manager told me not to go back there if I could help it. It's that bad? Yeah, he said I need to stay at a hotel or someplace until it all settles down. When he glanced at me, I knew what he would ask next. I'd really like to be with you. 
Well, I have to work, so I can't be with you all the time, but I know, I'll be good and wait. If you can handle that, you can stay with me as long as you like. Really? As long as I like? Well, shoot, I might as well just move in then. That's not what I meant, but... What do you think about living together? Not here, maybe, but what if we build a house? Anything you'd want in it? Just say it and it's yours. A small stage? A stage? Nice. If we had one, I could practice every day and you would get to listen. I could give you a personal concert, we could sing together and kiss. I like that idea, it sounds like so much fun. Plus, being with you every day is like a dream come true. In the end, Subaru ended up staying with me for quite some time. He had the cafe owner bring him some essentials, so his stay was more comfortable. While he didn't have all of his gear, he worked on new songs all day while strumming his guitar. Looks like they're talking about you on TV. His new album had sold over 1 million copies and went platinum. His mysterious relationship was making headlines and everyone was talking about it. Rio, having announced to quit music, comes back with a hit new song, only two. Everyone keeps saying there's a girl behind my new hit song. Not that they're wrong, but... Look at how high your rankings are! Has it ever been this good before? Not only have you made top songs of the week, but also number one rated song of the whole year. Wow, I can't believe how many have sold in so little time. That's the power of love. He hugged me across the shoulder. Look, they're talking about what kind of person my lover is. Had someone found out about me? There are only a handful of people who knew we were dating, but what if... My eyes glued to the TV, I nervously watched on, fearing the worst. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just conjecture. One of the people who had seen us together had drawn a sketch of my face. Thank goodness. It's hard to tell anything since she looks like your normal woman, so no need to worry. I just hope it calms down soon. Yeah, I know I want to let everyone know that I had someone, but you're mine and only mine, so I don't want them to know anything else about you. He grabbed around my waist from behind and pulled me into the sofa. You're such a greedy guy. That's your fault for being so alluring. It's only a matter of time until someone takes aim at you, and I don't like it. Maybe I'll just have to make you my private stylist. What do you think about that? I like that idea, but I'm not good enough yet. I need more experience before I do that. Then don't work for guys if you can help it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a ton of concerts coming up here. And just who do you think I'm going to name as my stylist? Wow, you're so bad. You better behave if I get assigned to you. Don't worry. I won't do anything that will make people suspicious of us. Good. But on the other hand, he lifted me up, legs and all, and headed towards the bed. When we're finally alone, I'm going to make up for all that missed opportunity. What? Now? It's still so early. It's not about when. It's about doing things now because we can't later. Maybe, but... His warm breath on my neck made me shiver from head to toe. I knew you had a weak spot back there. Is that what you've been doing? Yep, I'm searching for all the good spots all over your body. Go on, tell me some. I'm not saying. Aww. No. Then let me tell you. Huh? I'll tell you all about your weak spots that you didn't even know you had. Subaru whispered devilishly into my ear. You make it sound like I have so many. You do, actually. You don't think I haven't been looking for them? Like right here, for example. He bit my earlobe and sucked it between his lips. Mm. See what I mean? And here, too. He slithered his hand inside my shirt and toward my breast. Yeah! And your back, too. Full of weak spots. And under your arms. Subaru's fingers twisted and poked me in the armpit. Ah! See? Anyone would react if you poked them there. And you think? Then how about giving it a try on me? He turned so I had a good angle at pinching his side. Okay. I reached out and poked his side under his arm, just like he had done to me. And I can't feel a thing. You're going to have to try harder. Grab a handful and pinch me. You asked for it. With a fistful of flesh, I squeezed, but Subaru just looked at me with a comical face. What was that supposed to be? Are you trying to give me a massage? He seemed to be completely unfazed when I touched him there. Now it's my turn. With squinted, naughty eyes, he reached for my bare skin. His finger aimed for a sensitive part of me and wiggled around. Alright, and I'll let you guys read the rest of this.
Thank you. I love you. And then Subaru and I shared our love all throughout the night. Okay guys, looks like we have finished it off. Yes, we got the best ending available for Subaru Oshima. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, this will be the last character that I play from Dangerous Relationship. I want to have more room in my schedule to move on to new games. But it's been a fun ride. Hope you guys enjoyed the two characters we played out of this game. And look forward to more of my new series, Heartstrings. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!